Hey y'all, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. I'm in a much better mood than my last vlog. And just a warning, I think I'm going to take that vlog down. So, because I've gone back and I've watched it now that I felt better. And I just feel like I'm moping and I'm crying. So I think I'm going to take it down. Uh, I'll give y'all a few more days to watch it. I'll leave it up to like maybe Monday. It's going. It, it's going down. It's going down. Um, but then again, I might not take it down. I mean, like, what do y'all think? Do y'all think I should leave it up or should I take it down? I mean, like, I'm on there bawling and whining like a baby. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to take it down. Um, <clears throat> but then again, it's like I don't want to take it down because, you know, that's part of a person's journey and part of a person's life sometimes we cry but I you know what the last time I have cried in front of people I can honestly say was like 2005 so 2005 or 2006 no I think what was it, it was 2000 no it was 2005 that was the last time I think I cried in front of anybody so yeah so watch it because I'm pretty positive I'm taking it down. Um, so after my meltdown, I thought about it and, and I've got a new goal. Okay. And my problem is I have no problem saying I'm, I feel totally naked. Like my necklace, my Mandy necklace that I always wear, like I bought this new stuff to put on my face. Um, because I've been stressed out lately and my face has been breaking out really bad. So I bought this new cream to put on it and I put it on my face last night and I guess it like rubbed off onto my necklace and that necklace is like silver and it turned it black. I mean black and I have like scrubbed it with a toothbrush and it's in, sitting in jewelry cleaner right now and I'm going to ball again, not in front of the camera this time, but I'm going to ball if that doesn't come off because I have literally since I got that necklace I have never I've taken it off once for an x-ray that was it I've never taken it off so I feel really weird without let me that's better um anyway what was I talking about my new goal I don't have a problem setting a goal at all um my problem is and maybe it's just because I'm a girl and I like stuff um I like to have a good prize at the end. So with my last goal, my prize at the end was going to this Goo Goo Dolls concert. And, you know, I was having my meet and greet. And that was like my most eptastic prize in ever. So, I mean, like, like I said, I'm just a girl. I mean, who who wouldn't like an awesome prize to meet a rock star and get your picture taken with them? So everything else is going to pale in comparison to that. But I think I have found my goal. Um, my goal is I want to lose 75 pounds by my one year anniversary. My one year, I had to look it up. I thought it was, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I yawned at you. Um, my starting day with Weight Watchers, my one year anniversary with Weight Watchers is January 28th. I thought it was February. It's January 28th. So I have until then, which is 12 weigh-ins before my one year. I've already counted them up. Um, and I want to I want to lose 75 pounds by then, which means I need to lose 26 pounds. Um, which I'm sure is doable, right? It's doable. It's totally doable. Um, and my prize, which it may not even fit by then. I am going to order a Goo Dolls tank top okay I have never spent this much money on a tank top in my life this tank top is $25 and I'll put a link to the to it in the bottom of the linky box thing down there um but I'm gonna buy it in a large and this is a women's size large um so by the time I lose 75 pounds I still not may be able to fit it but it will be like an even better, more awesome goal. So that like, you know, maybe one day I'll be skinny enough to wear it to a concert. Even though I don't believe in wearing t-shirts of the band you're going to see to a concert. That's just one of my rules. I don't do that. I don't wear a Goo Goo Dolls concert t-shirt to their concert. I'm weird. That's just one of my rules when you go to a concert. You shouldn't wear your their merchandise to the show. Everybody knows you're going to see them. Is that weird? 
or is that no I don't think it's weird. I mean, personally, I don't think it's weird. But, I mean, if you want to wear the, you know, your band, the band, t-shirt of the band, you're going to see more power to you. I personally just am not going to. Um, let me see. Harry Potter comes out tomorrow, guys. On TV. Get to see my Rick Um, I have a picture of me going to see Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and me and Tipper's dressed up and I have like this white shirt on and I have the official Slytherin tie and I'm holding my like my Snape doll. Should I put that up now or should I put it? I'll put it up now. Here it is. That was from 2002. I was a bit fatter there. I'm still fat. By all means, I'm still fat, but I was fatter there. OMG. Um, Kristen, she sent me, which uh, that's not her username. I'll put her little linky majig down here at the bottom. She is the sweetest person, like, in ever. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I freaking love her. She is so sweet, and I talk to her a lot. And, um, she asked me for my address not too long ago, and she's like, I promise I'm not going to stalk you, and I'm like, oh, it's okay, you know, whatever, but she sent me something, y'all, she sent me this, it is a DVD, and the good thing about it is, like, it works your core, which my doctor, some of the, like, one of these, um, I was watching it, and there's one of them I'm not sure, like, with my back problems, like, I'll be able to do it, but, like, this first disc, I know for a fact that I can do. Um, I haven't done it yet, though, because I just got it the other day, and I've had to work, and, like, I've been gone the entire time, but you all going to know something, even though I've been gone the entire time, and I've had to work nights, like, all week long, like, I exercise, I'll put that in, Yeah. Okay, guys, I don't know how well you can see that. But I just did my exercise bike for the first time in about three weeks. Or actually, probably since my Google Docs concert, which was October, crap, I forgot, 17th, I think. So, yeah, it was 101 calories. I was on the bike for a little over 15 minutes. I'm freaking tired as hell. And I've got to go to work here in a little bit, so I have to get a shower and stuff, but. I think I'm going to do it when I get home, too. Um, so, today's Wednesday. New day, remember? So, we're starting over. So, here we go. Alright, guys. Bye. See you later. Alright, guys. It's Mandy again. And it is like 11... It's like 11.36. And I was tired when I got home. I need some dinner. I'm going to get off work till 9, so it's like 9.30 or so when I get home. And then um, having some food, I'll just sit for a minute and pop my hand. I really don't feel like getting on the bike, but I said that I would. And I had made up my mind that I wasn't going to get on it. And then I watched a little fat me new vlog and do some of my exercise. And um, you got to find something that you like. And I like, you know, doing exercise bikes decently enough. Uh, I'm considering that food of these things, but I have to do some more research on it because uh, my back is shitty. Um, so yeah, I got on the bike and I'm like, fuck it, I just need to do it. And I used to be able to ride for like 30 minutes or more at a time, but it has literally been like a month, or at least a month probably since I've been on the bike. So I've been on a total of 30 minutes today, I've done it twice for 15 minutes. So used to have to do it in one sitting, but I guess I got to build my fat ass back up to it. So, I guys. I've still been, I've, I've squeezed my exercise in this week. But this, I'm going to, I'm off Saturday. I'm going to try it Saturday. Um, but I totally got off track. What I was saying was that it works your core. It says right back here, it works your core. And that's um, what my doctor, um, my back doctor, my neurologist, that's what he always told me to do. He's like, you need to work your core and it'll strengthen your back, you know, and obviously lose weight and all that other good stuff. And, um, you know, you will feel better. Like he's always told me to do Pilates. I don't know about Pilates. That's like a lot of stretching and it scares me and like a lot of toe touching and the, pff, this fat girl can't touch her toes like that right now. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to be awesome just because it said core on the back. 
and yeah, I'll do it Saturday, and maybe I'll do like, I'll try and do like a review of it Saturday, but let, let's see if that, if that'll happen. I've got a lot of stuff to do Saturday, but I think I can do it. Um, but thank you so much, Kristen. Thank you. You're so freaking sweet and adorable, and she is doing awesome. She's doing awesome. So y'all need to check her out if you haven't watched her. Reason, like I was really pissed off and upset the other night. This is 10 minutes long. I'm going to cut out half of this. Um, was because I was trying to talk to my mom about like maybe trying to healthify Thanksgiving. All right. And she just like wasn't having anything to do with it. Now, albeit I'm, I'm having this conversation with her maybe 30 minutes after she just told me that she's gained like five pounds. I asked her, I'm like, you know, maybe we should like cut down on what we make. You know, like I wasn't saying we need to like totally compromise our Thanksgiving because there's certain things I know we're going to have. We're going to have turkey. I hate turkey. I don't eat turkey. Turkey can suck it. But we have ham. So, you know, I know I can eat ham. We're going to have dressing, homemade dressing. My grandmother always makes that. I want that. You know what I mean? But I told her, I said, you know, maybe we can make not as many desserts. And there's a cake that we make all the time. It's called a hummingbird cake. It is freaking delish. But I'll put the recipe for you down here at the bottom. I'll find a recipe and link it down there and tell you how we make it. That cake is probably like 5,000 points. And I told her maybe instead of making an entire sheet cake, we could just make a little one. You know? And I told her, you know, maybe instead of making a pumpkin pie, we could make a pumpkin pie out of the pumpkin fluff, you know, because it is really thick. You know, like when you make a pudding pie, that's what that pumpkin fluff is like. And I'm like, you know, we can make that into a pie. I'm like, you know what, maybe we don't need corn. You know, corn has points. I'm like, maybe we can just make green beans. Maybe we can make a huge salad. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do that. You know, and she's like, man, she's like, we're not just feeding us, we're feeding other people. And I'm like, mom, you can make healthy food and people won't even know it's freaking healthy. They will not know. You know, and me, we kind of got into it over Thanksgiving because I'm like, you know, we can't make all this food like we used to, you know, because I know how I'm going to be and I know how you're going to be. You're going to freaking eat that entire hummingbird cake. I know how she is, you know, and me, I would eat like all that stuffing. Do you know what I mean? That dressing. All I was trying to explain to her was there are ways you can cut corners and make it healthy and still have the same exact food, you know, or maybe take one thing out and swap it for something else you know, and she, she just like flew off the handle, you know, and to me, it's like, our problem is, is we have a lot of parties, we have a lot of gatherings at our house, we have a lot of poker parties, birthday parties, Halloween parties, we have a big New Year's Eve party, and my mom's thing is she feeds people, that's her thing. She feeds you, you know, and like she always has an overabundance of food. She's always scared we're not going to have enough. So we always have all this food left. Okay. And even though you send food home with people, we're still left with a lot of it. And while I was trying to explain to her was maybe we don't need to make as much because then we won't have leftovers and then we won't be eating the shit for four days. So that was another reason that I was mad. I just didn't get into it in the other video. What the hell am I talking about? I totally forgot what I was talking about. I got distracted with that song. Um, I want to make kind of like a before and after. Um, maybe starting when I was younger because like I told y'all, I've always been fat. So I may try and find like a couple of younger pictures. And I think I've got some high school pictures. The only thing is, is like this is like... Um, this is before camera phones <laughs> and before, you know, digital cameras. So some of them I'm going to have to scan. This is one picture I'm going to, this was when my friend got married. My best friend Heather got married and she got married in 2003, maybe 2002, 2003. Cause I wasn't, I hadn't gone to hair school or anything yet. Um, but I'm going to show you this picture and I, you can't tell, but what I've got on is black pants, like a black turtleneck. I have on a jean jacket and you know, I, my face looks really fat, but the weird thing is, is like I have long hair. So, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but when I scan it and put it in the thing, you'll be able to see it better. But I'll give you like a sneak peek. She got married in December. So 
Look at I've got hair. What is up with that? I just don't even look good with really long hair, I don't think. And this was like back in the time um, X-Men first came out, the first X-Men movie. And like I thought the like the um, white stripe that Rogue had in the front was so epic and cool that I had to do one. So, yeah. The things we do to our hair, right? So, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm doing okay. I didn't, I had, I seriously had a breakdown that night. And the thing, and when I got up the next morning, like my mom knew I was pissed. She knew something was wrong. Cause she's like, what's wrong with you? And all this other stuff. And then the next morning I got up, I was getting my coffee in the kitchen. And she's like, Mandy, she's like, did you have like a breakdown last night? She's like, what was wrong with you? I was like, I was fixing to snap a bitch is what I was fixing to do. A lot. And you know, a lot of it wasn't that, oh, I couldn't, some of it was, I, I did want to talk to Tiff. I really wanted to talk to Tiff and she was at work and I didn't have anybody to talk to. And I got to text her just a little bit before she went to work though. But, um, Work is about to destroy me. I just don't even know. I don't even know. But you know what? That's what happens when you work with a bunch of girls. We're a bunch of girls that do hair. You know? Oh, well. But uh, I went to work the other day, and it wasn't that horrible. And I lived through it. So. I'm sorry I cried in my last video, but I'm pretty positive I'm going to take it down. So, if you want to watch it, you better watch it then. Uh, before I take it down. So, alright. Bye guys. See you next time.